It's been one year since we got the torque lift stairs for our truck camper and we were a little bit unsure if it was necessary. However, we're going to give you a one year update. What we think about the stairs, stuff we like, don't like, and the number one question that people have had, how do we transport the stairs? Because we have the most amount of stairs, six just to get into our camper because our truck is lifted and it's a big height to get in. So let's get started. Now, if you haven't watched our first video with these stairs, be sure to check that out. Maybe we'll put a link in the description, but we mounted these stairs with the very compact mounting bracket, which is about inch high profile. This allowed us, well, it was really the only option because we converted the basement into storage and we only had about this much distance underneath the threshold for the door. Now, we needed all six steps, and that brings me to the number one thing that I'm not a huge fan of with these stairs. Now, most people won't need six stairs because their rig isn't this tall. However, I think that it would be nice if the step height was actually greater. These are really shallow stairs. They're almost so shallow that when you walk up and down it, you almost trip on it just because they're just a really shallow stair. You know, a standard stair height would have been, I think, a lot easier. And we probably could have gotten down to five stairs instead of six stairs, which would have saved some weight. Now, these are really pretty lightweight considering they're all made out of aluminum. It's really solid, nice construction. But when you put six stairs together, it's uh, not that light anymore. And I do understand we're kind of at the extreme end of things, but that would be my number one suggestion would be to increase the stair height just to enable you to have less stairs. And it would also potentially allow it to uh, not come out as far from the back of the camper. So you can see, you know, this comes out a decent distance. I'd say it's a few feet from the back of the camper, which isn't a huge deal, but it'd just be nicer if it was a little bit more tight. Now. One of the things we really like is these little landing pads. So these are really slick because they're a nice big platform for sitting on the ground, but they're also adjustable by just pushing in the little uh, quick release deal and, and pulling down. So you can have one leg higher than the other for uneven ground terrain, or sometimes when we're parked at an angle, we actually need to extend the feet just so that our stairs can hit the ground. So those have been really nice to give a little more flexibility with using these stairs. Now the next thing that I would like to point out with them is that they get dirty. So when we were in the snow, it's a pro con. So a uh, con with it is that all of these, well, you can see they're still dirty. They get dirt on them and before you go to move your camper or pack back up, you really need a broom or something to clean them off. We carry a small little broom just to use for cleaning and that works pretty well, but it is something to consider. Now the pro with it is that you basically are cleaning your feet all the way up into the camper. So, you know, a lot of the stuff that you would just have tracked into your camper is no longer inside, which that is a really nice thing, but just something to keep in mind when it is, you know, adverse weather is uh, these things are gonna get dirty. So you need some way of wiping them off before hauling it. The other thing is if it gets rainy and you have to pack up in the rain, these things are gonna be wet. So you, you almost need to dry them off or just be aware that depending on how you're hauling them, it could get a little bit uh, wet in there. Now. That brings us to one of the questions that a lot of people have asked us is how do we carry these stairs? Now, we originally were thinking we'll carry them on the outside of the camper and there's actually a specific mounting bracket designed for exterior carrying of these stairs, but it doesn't fit on our camper setup. And one of the downsides to carrying on the outside obviously is that they're gonna get even more dirty uh, any dusty road, rain, any of that stuff is going to get all on the stairs. So realistically, I'm not a fan of carrying 
anything outside of the camper because it just gets filthy. So we wanted to carry them inside and we looked at, you know, potentially carry them inside the cab of the truck, but with the bikes in there, there's really not a good place for that. And they're a little bulky because we have six stairs. And so we thought, you know, the best place to store them would be inside the camper, just inside the door here, because this area here is wasted space when we're traveling. So the idea was, well, maybe we could use the same mounting bracket that torque lift provided for the exterior of the camper and get a second one and put it on the inside of the camper on the floor and allow us to essentially carry the stairs inside and have them secured easily with the same hardware. So let me show you how that works and how we did that. In the stairs off, you have the little quick release pins on either side and you gotta pull them out. We just set them aside here. There's a little keeper pin and then the little uh, pin that probably could uh, clean it up so it slides a little easier. But uh, if you twist it and pull, it kind of comes out. And then the stairs can compact down by just pushing them down. Now you can see we have a lot of stairs. Um, so this is a pretty good height profile here. And, uh, and that was one of the reasons I was thinking of reducing to five stairs if it was a higher stair profile. It would just make the whole setup a little bit more compact. So once the stairs are all compacted down, what we do is to put it on the inside of the camper. On the inside, we have a rubber floor mat. So this is essential for hauling the stairs, but also it's just a good way once you're at camp to keep the inside clean. And you can see ours has mud on it still. Now the bracket that we used for securing the stairs to the inside is the same one that we used from the outside of the camper. And I'll give you details in the description if you check out the video description for this part. But essentially this is the same bracket that we have on the outside of our camper. What we did is used through bolts and went through the floor of the camper. It's a carriage style bolt and then we used a washer and a nylock and just one on either side just to secure it. So this is the same as the outside. So let me show you how loading the stairs works with this and how it secures the stairs for transportation. You have to grab all of the stairs. Now, these stairs aren't overly light and our camper is a more extreme version because it's a lot taller than most people's camper. But basically, our, we have to go inside the door of the camper and then we have to go down to the mounting frame here. So you can see that's how we kind of got it through the door. Now, some people's camper doors are wider than ours, which would be a lot easier not having to turn the stairs. There's the mounting bracket, and you can see here's the mounting point on either side of the stairs. Now it's just mounted to the floor. So to put these in, all you're doing is putting the pin through on either side like that, and you can put the keeper pin on as well. And that's it. So you just do that on both sides. See, now we're clipped in place on both sides. If the stairs secure to the ground, obviously they can't tip forward because of the mounting point back here. So the only direction they can fold is back towards the back door. And then they get stopped by the frame. So if it's a really bumpy road, they might move around a bit but you've got your rubber floor mat on the floor, which basically is an isolator for them. And the furthest they can go is until they hit the door frame, which is probably a pretty extreme situation that they get that rowdy. But regardless, it keeps them stationary in place and it's super easy and fast relatively for hauling these stairs. Now, the other thing that's, that's nice with it is that we can still get in and out of the camper with these stairs in place. So sometimes we stop for lunch and we'll just leave the stairs in here and climb over them. The one downside to that is that there's a little storage cubby that's underneath the shower area and uh, we can't open that with these stairs in place. But it's a bit of a trade-off. I think this is a great solution for hauling the stairs basically in this kind of wasted entry space area 
and it keeps it the weight down low. So first thing, you just got to pull both of the pins that hold the stair in place. And then I just put my arm underneath the stairs so I can easily rotate them and just lift them out. Then once they're out, there's a little keeper that keeps the stairs compacted in. And then basically you're just gonna expand up all the stairs. And you can put the pin back in on the outside. So it's pretty simple setup. Obviously it doesn't take a whole lot of time to do it, but it's something that it is nice to uh, have the option of, um, of leaving the stairs and not needing to set them up every time. Um, so a lot of times, like I said, we'll just leave them inside and just step over them. But uh, they're pretty slick. They work pretty nice. The other thing we notice with them is, especially the first time you set them up, is they, <laughs> they make a lot of kind of creaking noises just as they kind of settle in. After you've gone up and down them a couple times, they seem to get a little quieter but they're a little creaky. Um, they seem plenty solid though. You know, you don't get the impression that they're, you know, gonna give way underneath you or whatnot. And um, these little glow strips are actually really nice on either side of the stair at night too, uh, just to help show you the uh, pathway in there. But uh, our stairs, obviously it's a lot of stairs. Um, so if you were uh, maybe less stable on your feet, you know, you probably would want to not have your camper quite so high like we have. But uh, for us, it works really well. So overall, I think the quality is really good. There's been no corrosion on the stairs because they're all aluminum construction, which is really nice with the exception of the feet that are uh, powder coated. And the durability seems good. We've had no issues with hardware coming loose or um, any sort of failures or you know weld issues or whatnot uh, the construction is actually really well put together so I think these are a good quality product and after a year of using them um, really have no complaints about them um, I think our biggest challenge was really how we we're gonna haul them so this solution I mean we've been using it for a lot of trips now and I I would say it is a fantastic solution. I don't know if it'll work for everyone, but for us, it's been fantastic. So hopefully that can give you some ideas. If you're thinking about getting these torque lift stairs and questioning how you're going to move them around. So I hope that is helpful for you guys that are looking at these torque lift stairs. And if you have any other questions or comments about, how we use the stairs or haul them or anything else about them, post it up in the comments below. Or if you have any other suggestions for other people, that's always helpful to share those things. Just to give other people ideas as well. You know, post them up in the comments. A lot of people do read those. And otherwise, we thank you for watching this video on our stairs. Hope you found some interest or something of value with it. Give us a thumbs up if you did, or even if you just want to be nice. And then we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. I really like the Torque Love Stairs. I don't know if you can see the height of the camper to the height of me, <laughs> but I'm a very small person and I'm even smaller in my legs, which I have no complaints. I love how lifted our truck is and how much clearance we have, but it definitely makes loading, unloading, resupply, um, if we're stopped somewhere overnight or for a couple of nights, it's super awesome because it makes it a lot easier to get in and out, especially if we're at a slope. Because if we're at a slope, I can't open the door because I can barely reach the handle from the ground. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't like the creaks on it, huh? That is the one thing that I've noticed is if I'm trying to... I wake up really early, especially if it's light out, and I like to go for a walk, do stuff, and that always makes me concerned that I'm going to wake up Peter as I'm trying to sneak out to go do a walk or do some exercise in the morning when we wake up. So 
that's the the main thing that I found that is not my favorite about them. But ev- other than that, I really do love the stairs. Yeah, pretty nice upgrade. A lot love easier that. to get in and out, especially yeah. when the well, it's even when the weather is worse, it's actually nicer. It is because I can take off my shoes right here and then step into the camper. Obviously, if it's raining or snowing, as we experienced recently, that's not as ideal considering water is now getting into the camper. Um, so I'm still on the inner. That's that's what got the thing all dirty as we were in a very muddy area from the snow and ice the other day. Yeah, it's a sweet upgrade though, especially if you have a custom height rig and you're wanting a very uh, flexible stair system and mounting system. It's, yeah. It's really, it's uh, al- almost anyone with. can mount a one inch bracket yeah. on the back of their rig. There's almost always space for that. And it's not hard to get in and out when they're in and we're in transit. Yeah. Like Peter said, stopping for lunch, it's really easy to get up and over them. Yeah, so we, we, we're a big fan, I think. Yeah. I really like them. Excellent. Yay. Thanks for sharing thoughts with Faith. <laughs> Bye.